Hi everyone! Today I am going to show you how to make a whale diaper cake. It's going to look like this. To make the whale diaper cake, you're going to need a few items. Some diapers, a bowl, some socks, a blanket or a towel, a bottle brush, a teether, a rattle, some outlet covers, and a kneeling pad. Some tools that you will need to get the job done are going to be something to tie with, tape, scissors, and safety pins. So let's get started. On this cake, the base is going to be your bowl. I like how this bowl is kind of like scalloped on the top because it kind of looks like waves. And we're going to have the whale coming out of the wave. The body of the whale is going to be made out of diapers. I got size 3 diapers for a couple of reasons. The diapers are going to be easier to use while making this mound of a whale, but also because a lot of times the parents want to keep the object in its shape for a little while, and if you've got newborn sized diapers, then they're going to be wanting them like right away. So this will give them a couple weeks or months or I don't know how long it takes to get to 16 pounds <laughs> to start using these diapers and start to disassemble the whale. Alright, to start making the body, we're going to start rolling diapers. We're going to try to roll them into a half crescent shape so it just sits in the bowl. You're going to take your first diaper and you're just going to roll it up. We're going to tape this one so that it's a good base. Next you're going to start wrapping the base. Until so you've added three more diapers. Tie it off. And now we're going to start only wrapping on one side to start making a hump. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one on the edge and over and then another one on the other side and over continue doing that until you need to tie it off again. So now we have the base of the whale started. Now this bowl was pretty large, so it would take more than just a bag of diapers to fill it. But one thing I also like to do to ensure that the parents know everything about the items that come with the diaper cake is I like to give them the original packaging. So A, they know that it was new and B, they know if there's any age limits for the items that they're using. So because the bowl was too deep, I actually put them into the bowl. So the packages are in this bowl, but if you are not going to do that, just make sure you don't get too deep of a bowl or buy two packs of diapers. But for now, it's actually working as a really good base and it's going to hold up our body enough to where it's going to start the hump. Next, we're going to make the front, which is going to be the mouth. For the mouth, we're going to kind of fake little teeth by rolling up diapers and clumping to them together in a half moon shape. So you're going to roll them. I would start with the waistline going up as tight as you can and then tape them. to go in the bowl in front of the base. 
but we need to figure out how to make them into like a half moon shape. So it looks like it's going to be four against the body, three in front in the grooves. I'm going to tape them like that so that way they stay, but it's not going to be totally necessary because the bowl is going to hold them in place. a bit more tricky than I anticipated but I pretty much wrapped them around and then I crisscrossed them so that they had tension. This is going to go in the bowl in front of your hump. The teether is now going to go on top of that mouth you just created. I found one that was shaped like grapes or something. But I tried finding one kind of like the shape of a tongue, but you could also get a round one. That would be fine. It's up to you. I was hoping for red, but we got orange instead. And it's going to sit on top of the mouth that you just made. Now you can tape it or you can set it there since I don't know how transportation is going to be. I'm going to tape it on. Okay, for the top of the mouth, you are going to take some diapers and drape them over the body to create the opening of the mouth. You're going to put the waist end on top of the hump. You can tie this on or you can tape it. I'm going to tie it to make it most secure. I used all of the diapers except for one so far. Try not to let them hang over too much so that they can see the tongue coming out. Okay, we're going to start on the tail. We're going to take our last diaper and wrap it around the bottle brush. So you're just going to take it long ways, wrap it around, and then you're going to tape it. Now the actual brush is going to go into your bowl and it's going to angle out. So I'm going to put it into my bowl. I'm putting it in towards where I have my um, boxes that are left over so that it's kind of secure and it's sticking up. Next we're going to take a kneeling pad. This one has uh, spots on one end so I think I'm going to have that part showing more and it's going to go at the end of the bottle brush. So I'm going to tape it and I think that's going to be enough but we'll see. I just crisscrossed it on the back and then I went from the front around back to the front to keep it from tilting back. I, if I had fancier ribbon, then I would actually go over the top and around to tie it in place, but all I have is this black stuff and I don't think it's gonna look as cute. So we're gonna leave the tape, but just know that it is not on there super secure, so we're really careful when we're walking around with it. So far we have this. All right. The next step will actually start to make it look a little bit more like a whale, which by the way, I got a whale on this towel. So we're going to wrap the body and just the top part of the mouth with the blanket and start shaping it. So we have our towel, our blanket. This is bigger than what I need, but it's good because I need some filler back here near the tail. Now because this is so big, I'm going to fold it in half. Lining up the mouth at the front, pulling the loose parts into the back, tucking it into the back. I'm 
trying to shape it to where it gets thinner at the back. And I'm, going, I'm going to put a safety pin at the back to wrap the towel around the tail. Okay, so we kind of have the shape going on, but you can't quite tell what it is. So now we want to add the little tiny features, such as the eyes. Next, we're going to add the fins. So we're going to use a pair of socks. I have this pair, and we're going to need some safety pins. You're going to take a sock, and you're going to use the ankle part, and you're going to safety pin it to the side of the whale. I suggest pointing the toes back towards the you're going to tuck it into the side of the bowl also so that you cannot see the safety pin. And it just flaps over the side. For the eyes, we're going to take the second pair of socks. We're going to make little eyeballs. So make sure to get socks that have different colored heels than the rest of them. To make it into this shape, you're going to take the opening and pull the toes about halfway through so that they're halfway inside out. Once they're halfway inside out, then you just have the heel. And you're going to squish it down and wrap it until you have an eyeball and you're going to pin it onto the side of your whale. I would suggest pinning it farther forward than where you put the uh, side fins. Now I'm trying to let the eyes kind of bulge a little bit because usually when you see the whales, the cute little whales, they kind of have like googly eyes. So that one has kind of like a bigger eye. And I try to shape it into a bit of an almond shape if you can. There you go. It's starting to at least look like a big fish. Okay, next we're going to take the outlet covers and we're going to just put them as teeth on the rolled up diapers that we already put in the mouth. Pretty easy, you just simply push the prongs onto the top of the rounded up diaper and you're going to get something like that. Now the blowhole is going to be a bit tricky. We're going to have to tie it to the top. Luckily this has a ring, so I'm going to use some of my black string. If you have something lighter, use it. And I'm going to tie it down by pinning the string down to the top on both sides. There you have it. You now have a whale diaper cake. Ta-da! Well, thank you for watching. I hope you give this a thumbs up and share it with anyone else who is looking to make a adorable diaper cake for their next baby shower. Until next time, bye.